wish, dude. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I am super excited to be out on the water. It is an absolutely gorgeous East Tennessee day today. A little bit chilly this morning, but it's supposed to roll off into the 50s this afternoon, and we are on the river. Gonna do a little bit of river fishing, see what we can get done. Last time I came out here in the kayak, did pretty decently, caught a few on a Ned rig, and so I thought, you know what, we'll get in the boat, we'll cover a little bit more water, we'll run some more stuff that I like to run, and we'll see if we can do anything different today than we did the other day. And really, I'm just glad to be outside. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful blue sky. I mean, it's just, you know, you can tell spring's almost here. It's kind of funny to watch nature, you know, do its thing. You know, nature starts to, starts to come more alive. You start to hear the birds singing, the frogs start chirping at night. You know, these trees start budding ever so slightly. The days start to get just a little bit longer and you know that shift is coming that that kind of beautiful rebirth that happens every single spring starts to happen this time of year and, it, and it's honestly one of my favorite things and it's one of the coolest things that you get to experience when you're out in nature just because of just how cool it really is you know what i mean it's it's like it's the rebirth it's the rebirth of of the entire you know the entire ecosystem as it starts to come together in the spring and it's just really really fun it also means that some big fat female bass will start moving up shallow they'll start eating they'll start getting ready to make some babies and then it'll be on like donkey kong before we know it and we'll all be bed fishing and doing all that kind of stuff but before that happens we got to catch some pre-spawn fish and right now is one of the best times to do it and so that's what we're going to do i'm going to shut up we're going to pick up a fishing rod and we're going to get after it so doing things just a little bit different today we're going to run you on the dash because i forgot my chest mount and i also forgot my cord to my other camera so not only are we on the old gopro we're on the gopro on the dash so we're kicking it way old school throwing it on the gopro on the dash which i'm not done in a while so we'll uh keep it there and we'll see how it goes they're actually way more complex than we can treat in a q and r but um they're helpful perspectives to say that the landscape of interpretations everybody has to deal with these details in the text and some people prioritize some de details over others, but there are some just pure skeptics out there. And the narratives are trying to account for all of these details that are sometimes in tension with each other. And so the Canaanites are a, a, a great example <laughs> of that kind of thing. So thank you, Sarah. Super perceptive question. What do I got here? The old drum. If you are Well, there's never one on the day. Well, it's not a large mouth, but it's fun. Thank you, bud. All right, guys, I have no idea what I've got here. I've hooked something. On a deadly nedly. It's taking me for a ride. 
cover this is a little bit bigger than whatever it was last time I hugged. but it's freaking fun. Get out of here, old boy. Absolutely hammering that dead rig. A little 3 16 ounce Strike King Ned Head, Ned Ocho, Moon Juice, with the tail died in chartreuse. Well, we got a couple drum in the boat. That's about it, but heck, it's fun. Like I always tell people when they ask me, did you catch any fish today? Yeah, I caught a lot of smallmouth. It just wasn't the right kind of smallmouth. Those drum are fun. I mean, they just dog and dog and dog and dog. You know, you don't get the acrobatics like you do out of a bass or whatever, but man, when they hit something, they annihilate it and then they just go to town on it. So, it's fun. I'm having fun. We're gonna go run a few more points, run a few more little like man-made riprap things like I've been fishing. See if we can put a few more fish in the boat. Obviously, I'm looking for some largemouth, but if these drum have kind of moved up in here and taken their place because this current's just a little bit quicker today. And I think that's kind of what's going on. The current is just a little bit, um, there's a little bit more coming out of the dam, so it makes it just a little bit faster. And when that happens, I've noticed that the largemouth and the smallmouth will kind of pull up against things a little bit tighter. And you'll be able to pick one off here and there, but they just don't bite as much as the drum do. The drum kind of move back out there where the largemouth and the smallmouth new, normally are, and they'll start biting stuff off the net rig like I'm throwing. But yeah, we're gonna run a few more spots, see uh, see what's happening, see what we can get done, hopefully put some more fish in the boat. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, absolutely gorgeous day, beautiful day to be out in the water. And uh, I, uh, I'm not gonna complain about anything that I put into the boat. What's funny is I went back through all these same spots that I caught bass in the other day and now I'm catching drum. What time is it even? I don't even know. What time is it? Yeah, I may go down there this afternoon. I'm just, I have, uh, I'm weird now, Dad. I enjoy, I enjoy throwing this dang on dead rig now. There we go. Got one. Yep. That's uh, it. That's a drum. He's just digging. Dude, I'm hammering these drums, man. I'm, I'm going to do this here in a minute and say, oh, that's a drum, and about a six-pounder is going to come up tail walking, you know? Yeah, five pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's he's hammering it, dude. Well, hey, I'm holding into the tub. I love you. All right, I love you. Don't, don't get too tired. I'll talk to you here in a little while. Nothing. Old Grummy. Grummy to bummy. Old Grummy to bummy. Alright, dude. Get in here. Oh, man. That's so much fun. It's fun. I don't care what you say. It's fun. Oh, stop it. Stop. Here you go, guys. There's another one. You know. I'll be honest, I don't really care if they're largemouth or smallmouth today. I'm having fun. Woo! 
Get out here, dude. Listen guys, I don't care what anybody says, these dad gym things are fun, okay? It's fun to be in a stack of them like I am, on a school of them, just to hammer them like this, even though they're not large mouth and they're not small mouth, they're not black bass. Small mouth. It's the wrong kind of small mouth, <laughs> but it's a small mouth. Oh god, it's like trying to hold on to a wet noodle. Come here. You know, honestly, people consider these things trash fish, but it's fun. Get out of here, dude. Yeah. Boy, that's that's bad. That one was nasty. I kind of wish I didn't put him in the boat. Ugh. We're uh, we're pulling a nail part here, boys, because we drum it. He's catching a lot, a lot of drum. That's like, what, number six, number seven that we've put into the boat so far. So, got that little large mouth though, so that's encouraging. I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. I don't know if I want to go up river more, if I want to go back down river and start kind of making my way back down towards the ramp. I think that's what I want to do. Kind of hit some things that I've already hit down through here, make sure there's no more fish sitting on them, or make sure where this current's kind of started to drop down just a little bit that the large mouth hasn't moved in there where I caught those drum off there. And then hit some other stuff that I saw kind of coming up through here that I want to check out, but I'm having a ton of freaking fun. I don't know about you guys. I mean, any day I can come out here and slam some fish like I am today, it's fun. And when you find them piled up and you can make like consecutive cast at them and just keep on hitting them, it's just, is always fun. But yeah, it's a, it's a great time. Just a great, great time. Also, if you did not know, go down in the description i'll have a link to the monster bass website go click that link use the code beard to get you 10 percent off the entire site so if you want yourself a monster bass bag like i've got laying right here this is the march classic bag it's got all kinds of awesome classic winning baits inside of it. every bait in here except for my signature series square bill has won a classic which is really really cool so these baits obviously work right um, they have won people a lot of money and like change people's lives forever but yes yeah, so if that sounds like something you're interested in go hit that link down below it'll take you to the monster bass website use the code beard get yourself 10 percent off the entire website so not just subscription boxes but hoodies jackets line baits i mean my stickers everything is 10 percent off so go use that code but yeah i'm gonna uh i'm gonna shut up here we're gonna get on down the lake let's see if we can catch some more fishes Then just go to the very back of Mossy and get back there where it flattens out. Got one. And uh, throw a rattle trap. Hey, that's a largemouth. There we go. Ah, I got a largemouth. Heck yeah. Nice. He ain't no job, but he's a little squeakily deakily. Heck yeah. There you go, guys. Well, this one probably wouldn't keep, but he's a, man, he's fresh, dude. I mean, he's got good, sharp pads and everything. That's a fresh fish. 
So even though I'm not catching a lot of bass, I actually just caught a little largemouth, but even though I'm not catching a lot of bass, I still thought I'd talk about what I'm throwing, what I'm throwing it on to catch the fish that I am, because I am having a ton of fun today. Throwing around the old Deadly Nedley, throwing around a 3 16 ounce Strike King Ned head with a moon juiced Ned Ocho on the back with the tip dyed in some chartreuse JJ's Magic. Eight pound Strike King fluorocarbon leader to a 20 pound Power Pro Red mainline on my Lose Mock Smash combo seven foot medium fast action spinning rod little combo 79 bucks really really awesome rod and reel combo i will link the reel down below because you can actually uh, buy the reel separately but not the rod the rod you can only get with the combo um, and there's a few different places that have the combo you can go pick one up um, bass pro that kind of stuff but i'll make sure and link the reel and then kind of a uh, rod that's in the same general category as this one down below with my tackle warehouse affiliate links but yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm throwing i'm kind of just focusing on these current breaks right you guys have probably seen anywhere that there's riprap where the current either pushes into it or it's kind of a current break that's where those fish want to be sitting and today their drum it was funny the other day because it was largemouth the other day and not the drum so if i had caught as many largemouth today as I have drum, we'd really have a good day on our hands, but it's just kind of what happens. I think a lot of it is very, very current driven. And what I mean by that is if there's more current coming out of the dam, there's more current coming through the river, those largemouth, they kind of, they want to tuck up a little bit shallower and they get a little more lock jaw, whereas the drum will move out there and kind of take their place and start to eat. And when that current starts to drop down just a little bit, those largemouth will move back over there and kind of take over that area and they'll be more apt to eat rather than the drum but either way i'm having a ton of fun catching smallmouth just the wrong kind of smallmouth and uh, we're gonna hit a few more spots i've already hit today just to make sure there's no more fish there and we're gonna kind of make our way back down the lake might go fish some um, docks and uh, some other stuff like that that i've seen on the way up here that looked good but yeah i just wanted to take a minute show you guys what i was throwing what i was throwing it on so you guys can check it out go hit the links down in the description um they will take you to tackle warehouse and they help out the channel so yeah Let's get back after it. I think we'll call that one done for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I enjoyed making it. Even though I was catching the wrong kind of smallmouth, it was still an absolute ton of fun to get on those drum like I did in that one little largemouth. But it's just kind of funny, you know, it, it was a good learning experience today because it made me kind of realize how much current affects what type of fish is sitting on, you know, a particular type of cover, right? You know, a little more current, those bass kind of don't want to do it. And those drum move in there and, you know, those other predatory fish move in there. And if that current had been just a little less, you know, those, those largemouth, those smallmouth, might have been in there and I might have been able to put some bass in the boat so you know awesome learning experience honestly another great learning experience is keeping that spinning rod in my hand keeping that Ned rig in my hand I am trying to learn the Ned rig you know I'm trying to learn some more finesse techniques just because I really believe the way that fishing is going is going to be more finesse overall and so me learning those techniques is going to be for the betterment of uh, my overall fishing experience here in the great state of Tennessee and and more specifically over here in East Tennessee where it seems like everybody owns a boat there's a tournament every single weekend and you know I think being a little more finesse a little more passive and just starting to kind of hone some of those skills is going to help me down the line with you know just putting fish in the boat in the kayak and that kind of stuff but yeah it, it was good to have the Ned rig in my hand honestly I'm starting to enjoy and fishing it more now that I've kind of got it figured out how I like to fish it. My biggest problem with the Ned Rig for the longest time was I just could not get the feel for it, right? And when I say get the feel for it, I'm not only talking about like the technique as a whole, but like actually filling the bait on the bottom, you know, right? Most of these Ned Rig heads are super light. You know, quarter, um, eighth, a sixteenth, one thirty-second of an ounce, right? And so I kind of found my sweet middle ground with three sixteenths. And it may not be perfect for every situation, but I'm so used to throwing a three sixteenths ounce, whatever it happens to be, while finesse fishing that that three sixteenths ounce Ned Rig head has kind of changed my viewpoint on the Ned Rig itself. And I feel like I can just fish a little bit better with it. I'm a little more effective with it, a little bit quicker with it, and um, I just have more confidence and I think confidence more than anything is what puts fish in the boat a lot of the times but 
Yeah, so next uh, after the Ned rig is the old drop shot. I gotta learn how to throw that drop shot because I think we all know it's a really good bait that catches a lot of fish and I just do not have enough experience with it. I can count on one hand how many fish I've caught on a drop shot. And so we're gonna start learning that one after we get really, really dialed with the Ned rig. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, like I said, I enjoyed making it. It was a great video. Make sure to go hit up the description. I'll have the links down there for all the gear that I use. There'll be Tackle Warehouse affiliate links. And I'll also have a link to the Monster Bass website. So you guys can go check out Monster Bass. Use the code BEARD to get you 10% off every single thing on the site. So that's a good way to save some money. Um, get yourself some Monster Bass gear like the sweatshirt I got on. Um, we got some new Monster Bass windbreakers. We got obviously the boxes. We've got all kinds of baits on there at discounted prices. So not only we get it at a discounted price, but you also get an extra 10% off if you use that code. But yeah, as always, you guys are sweet. And thanks for watching.